I always wanted to fly. One of my earliest memories is actually from following the space program. I was age 12 at the time, and one magazine we got was National Geographic. And in February of 72, there was an article on Apollo 15, and I read it, and right in there with it was an article on the early days of hang gliding. And that just intrigued me, because here were these high school students building wings out of bamboo and plastic and actually flying. And you know, I, that was what I wanted to do. My name is Mark Stuckey. Call sign is Forger, and I'm the lead test pilot. I bring to the table a few decades of flight test experience. We're intimately involved with the engineers, helping with the design where it makes sense, and then doing all the planning to come up with smart flight test programs. Test flight days start early. We like to be airborne right around sunrise, so we start at 5, and we're looking to be airborne two hours after that. It's a busy flight card. You know, the goal of any first flight is simply to get it on the ground safely. But we're also trying to get some serious test flying done, and uh, we have a lot of test points. And it starts with a, what we call an approach to stall, which is to slow down well below our planned landing speed and investigate how the wing flies at high angles of attack. It is a first flight of a new vehicle, but it's a lot like the previous vehicle, which is very comfortable flying. Once we arm for release, we treat it as if the spaceship could be dropped at any time, so I'm holding the controls in for the release uh, just to ensure clean separation the moment we get down to the count of zero. We're working on a program that can have a very definite impact 200 years from now, and it's really cool to be able to be a part of such a program.